There is no doubt that health workers have been at the front line in the fight against COVID-19. Worried by the increasing figure of infection, infected patients, the World Health Organization held a press briefing to seek ways in reducing the carnages. Plus TV Africa's correspondent Iseme Omokai files in this report. The World Health Organization has warned of the threat posed by COVID-19 to health workers across Africa. According to the latest figure released by Health Body during a virtual press briefing, more than 10,000 health personnel from 40 countries have been infected with COVID-19 so far. The Regional Director of World Health Organization, Dr. Machidi Somoretti, says, This is definitely a sign of the challenges medical staff on the front lines of the outbreak face. In the African region, more than 10,000 health workers have been infected with COVID-19. One of the biggest challenges in protecting health workers has been the global shortage of personal protective equipment, which has severely affected countries on the continent. Through the global UN supply platform, more than 2 million items of PPE, including masks, goggles, and gloves, have been shipped to African countries, and 41 million PPE items are in the pipeline for shipment starting this weekend. We are committed in WHO with the support of international partners to continue helping countries to replenish these essential supplies. Committed to reducing this high risk is a need for an urgent action to protect the frontline workers. However, inadequate personal protective equipment or weak infection prevention and control measures raise the risk of being infected. Talk about one challenge that we tend to have, and that is for our health workers who are in the general health facilities and not in the treatment centers, there you are not expected to wear your full spectrum of PPEs. As you know, PPEs, I think governments have been doing their best. I'm not speaking specifically for governments, but I know that, uh, for example, in my country, they've been sending in the PPEs. What happens is that we cannot give the full uh, 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 package of PPE to every health worker. And therefore, what is done is that they look at your placement within the health facility, and that determines the type of PPE that you must get. So there is the need for continual request and the continual restocking. While the search for vaccines intensifies, other innovative preventive steps are advocated by various speakers. Reporting for Plus TV Africa, Iseme Omohai.